this is Regenerate Fitness and we are on the final installment on the client files for Paul. Results are in and um, I'm going to pass over to Paul to give you the news. Okay folks, here we go. So this is the way in. It's uh, the last day of my eight weeks of training with Regenerate Fitness and we'll see how the weight goes. So. One seventy eight point four. So eight weeks of training with regenerate, and I've lost fifteen point six pounds. Well, there you have it. Eight week program, Paul had two goals. One to increase his speed on the 5K, so going for a personal best on the 5K race, as well as losing 15 pounds, and he's accomplished both of those things within the eight week time frame. So, um, you know, the last few weeks were definitely a nail biter as Paul ran into some obstacles, um, but really that's life. It's, there's always going to be something that comes up that makes things more difficult for you to get your workouts in, to, to work out the way you want to. Um, but the idea is to stay committed to your goals and adapt as you need to. So constantly being open-minded to change and that sort of thing. Nutrition, also a major component of this. A lot of times people come into the studio hoping that um, I will have some magic exercises that will help them to shed the weight. And although I can give you a pretty tough workout that's gonna burn a lot of calories, nutrition still needs to be a, a big part of that program. So um, it doesn't have to be anything radical. It has to be, your food needs to be enjoyable. It has to be something that you can really see yourself carrying through the rest of your life um, with eating healthy and, and proper portion sizes and that sort of thing. Um, getting the exercise in, making it a priority. We're all really busy and I understand that, it, that I hear that all the time as an excuse and I totally get it. Our lifestyles are crazy busy um, but the idea is to make a plan for yourself. Planning your meals ahead, planning your exercise, get right in that Blackberry, right in your iPhone into the calendar between picking up the kids, dropping off the kids, after they go to bed, between meetings, before work, whatever makes the most sense to you. So, so really work out a plan that's realistic in your life and um, commit to it. So that's it. This is the big wrap up now and, um, and it was a very successful eight weeks. I really enjoyed all the feedback that we got and uh, I get the sense that you guys enjoyed watching Paul through this journey as well. So we will be looking for a new recruit too to carry forward in the next little while. And I have a few people in mind, a few clients that I think would be a lot of fun to follow. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to introduce them to you. In the meantime, Paul has some new goals set out. So we're coming into race season now. He's gonna be increasing his distance. So nutrition's definitely gonna be changing. Uh, strength training will go down to two times a week. Flexibility continues as he increases the kilometers um, to build up to his full marathon that he'll run again in November. So we'll be sure to keep updates on Paul as we go too. I know all of you will be watching to make sure he keeps that weight off and he continues with the nutrition plan. He says that he will. I'm trying to make sure that he keeps his shirt on everywhere he goes. <laughs> He's feeling pretty good, which is a great thing. So take care everybody and hopefully we'll see you back here again soon.